While you are busy finding new ways to avoid ever stepping off your hoverboard, you may have missed SpaceX's almost successful landing, Fukushima's new robotic wrecker, and this self-filling water bottle. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where I am not Carrie Davis. SpaceX sorta of made history over the weekend when the first stage of its Falcon 9 rocket nearly landed itself on a seafaring drone barge after successfully launching the Jason 3 satellite. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk confirmed that the rocket suffered a hard landing, but argued that the only reason it fell over after setting down was due to a landing strut failing to lock in place. It could have been worse. The Japanese government is preparing to clean up the crippled number three reactor at the Fukushima power plant next year, but radiation levels there are still too high for human engineers. That's why Toshiba has built a robot that can safely remove the reactor's 566 fuel rods while being controlled remotely. The robot will use a pair of manipulator arms to pick up debris from the cooling pool before a third arm cuts them into smaller chunks. Once the pool is clear, the robot will begin yanking the rods from their assemblies for disposal. It's just like the claw game but with glowing green prizes. If there's one thing we've learned from the office, it's that biking to work makes me really sweaty. But with the Fontas water bottle, you can remain as hydrated as your dress shirt. It's basically a travel dehumidifier strapped to the top of a canteen. It's outfitted with a solar powered fan that draws moist air into the bottle where it condenses into potable water. The fan also works passively, collecting liquid from the air around your bike as you ride. If only there was a way to wring it from your clothes once you actually get to work. And finally, here's a brick in a washing machine on a trampoline, because why the hell not? This episode was brought to you by Go90.